Hello everyone, we are witnessing large language models create virtual worlds like this right now. There are a lot of things happening recently in AI that we can explore. Today, we will look at one called AI Town, developed by Convex. They have released this virtual world and it is open source. You can check out their GitHub page, which will show you everything they have for hosting this virtual world. This virtual world is similar to games, but it's not actually a game. You can interact with different characters in the world. Their personalities, backgrounds, and how they react differently are defined as they implement different AI agents for each character in this virtual world. Essentially, this is going to be more intelligent than the typical RPG games you have played before because the characters have distinct characteristics, backgrounds, and response styles as you can observe their differences. Everything in this virtual world allows you to interact with different characters. Here, you can start customizing this version. The world is currently rendered in a pixel 2D style, but of course, you can download the source code from the GitHub page. You can customize the look by going into the asset folders where you will find all the UIs and other SVGs for the interface. There, you will have almost everything including the chat and the character speech bubbles, which you can customize as well. For example, we have all these chat bubbles and the interaction of the chatting here which should be customizable by using this box SVG and chat SVG etc. Right now we can try it out by logging into this one but for those who want to go more in depth you can go to the technical site to download this and customize this virtual world yourself and install it on your local machine. Uh, you can do that but there will be no other characters to interact with you on localhost. However, you can create some characters with AI agents and it can be AI interacting with you in there. But right now, on their live server here, they have already predefined all the characters and things in this virtual world. So, you can go and install it by using the GitHub page and you will need to install the necessary libraries. You will also need to install the Elama instance on your local server as they are powered by Elama 3. The entire virtual world right now is running on AI agents and the AI agent backbone is running on the Elama 3 large language model. This means you can download it and run the whole thing locally on your computers or deploy it on your private server or anything like that. It can be customized to your needs and requirements for creating another virtual world based on this script and this project. Let's try out their live server so we can see what happens here. First, we can log in using our GitHub account. Once you authorize using the GitHub account, it will bring us here. Here, we can click on an agent on the map and see the chat history. Let's say I want to see this guy. Each character here has their own background. For example, this guy is a fictional character named Alex who enjoys painting, programming, and reading sci-fi books. This character is based on these characteristics and the previous conversations between Alex and some other guy will be shown when you walk close to another person. For instance, right here, they are chatting right now, so you can see their chat history. All of this is happening autonomously by the AI agents. Both Bob and the guy Lucky are AI agents and they are chatting with each other with two AI agents communicating together here. We can also interact with them. For example, once I click interact, it will reload the page and my character will be here. I can then click on here and it will start moving the character to the point where my mouse clicked. For instance, I want to go here and you see the path that the character is walking in this direction. Hey, I want to talk to this character and see if I can catch up with her. I'm walking over and let's start a conversation. Let's see. She is coming back once I click start conversation and it looks like we are starting our conversation. Let's say, hi Alice. It's kind of slow, not real time, so we have to be patient. As you can see, we are having a conversation here and I'm doing all this typing. I believe Alice is an AI agent. Let's see if it's a real character or not. For example, I can type something. Okay, this is an AI agent. As you can observe, I paused and did not type anything, but it said, lost my train of thought. 
continuing to type even when I had not entered anything here. Let me type, type something randomly. Yes, it has tried three times here. One, two, and three. Finally, it will leave the conversation when the AI agent sees that you did not respond in the chat, demonstrating a very autonomous AI chatbot behavior. However, their interaction here is not really like a game. You cannot undertake missions or accomplish specific objectives from here. Instead, this is just a virtual world test that allows you to experience different characters with varying backgrounds and even their conversational styles and tones differ. As you can click on each character, you will notice everyone is distinct. When I click on characters and ask for a conversation, we see the AI agents processing and attempting to initiate a dialogue with me in the next joint section of the conversation. Let's say, hi, Bob, you know, for example, like this one, if it does not perceive me doing something similar to its interests, it will encounter some difficulties. As you can see, there are some disconnections occurring. The virtual world has to be restarted occasionally. We are waiting for other AI agents or AI characters to walk over and have a conversation with me. Sometimes it will not be the player or you who clicks the interact conversation button. Instead, as in this example, the AI agents will ask you to join the conversation in other ways. There will be two-way interactions here. Let's chat here. Okay, in this instance, I can test that this AI agent does not have much detailed information about space. When I inquire more deeply, wanting to see if this AI agent has more knowledge or details about space, because when this AI agent started the conversation with me, it mentioned learning some new space stuff. However, upon testing, the conversation remains quite preliminary. It's mostly just casual. It does not seem to have in-depth training or more details about each character's personality or the information they possess. But yes, as you can see right here, it progressively asks for conversation even when I'm standing in this area. It will have agents send you conversation invites on this screen. Let's say I want to reject right now. I don't want to talk with them anymore. And there you go. This is a pretty cool autonomous AI agent virtual world. You can see different characters with different backgrounds, but of course they do not possess in-depth or expert knowledge in each AI agent. However, at least it can be run by one large language model, which is currently Llama 3, to run this. So, by default, the chat model is Llama 3. It's quite impressive that using just one AI model enables the creation of multiple AI agents acting autonomously. You can interact with them in the meantime. This showcases the progress of AI in automating and even potentially integrating into video games where we may see each NPC having different reactions and personalities, making video games more dynamic. The result is not just a one-way path to winning the game or completing all the chapters. So yeah, check it out guys. This is called the AI Town. Very cool stuff. You can download it or, like me, play online on their demo server here. So I will see you in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.